Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to make a very simple, easy card with one layer and we're going to use a mask and we're going to use some flowers and we're just going to have some fun. So the stamp set we're using is free as a bird because there's beautiful birds on it. Some lovely sayings with thank yous on and I love the font on this one. And also there's these really pretty little flowers which I've used before and I use all the time. So that's what we're using today. We're using the rectangular postage stamp punch. And all I've done is I've punched out just one of those just to give some shape. Now, you can use anything you want, really. You don't have to use this. You can use any other shape. But I wanted something that was fairly big. We're using our blending brushes. And I thought that we would use some really nice soft colours. So we're using So Saffron. We're using Pear Pizzazz. And we're using Coastal Cabana because I think those three colours work perfectly together. So let's start with the So Saffron. And I'm using the blending brush and I'm literally just going to position it um, where I think it will work. And then I'm just going to sponge over it in the So Saffron. quite lightly and say always sort of start off and work your way in and then I think it's going to be a bit like a sort of a bokeh technique then we're going to take the flowers and we're going to oops says me I should have actually taken that onto the stamp and we're literally just going to stamp those down and we're using the large one for this one just like that okay then we're going to take it up so we've got this lovely sort of pattern going on there and we're going to put one coming in across on the opposite direction so i just need to get my Scrub out quickly so I can clean that up like that I can put that one on there and then we're going to use the pear pizzazz so I'm going to keep my ink pads out because I might have to use them again just literally rubbing my um, blending brush off and then we're going to take the pear pizzazz and it is going to overlap a little bit but that's fine oh I should have tapped that off a bit got that a bit bright never mind just build up the other edge if you don't tap it off you tend to get a little bit of a blurry bit in but that should be all right now we're going to take the little one this time and again we're just going to stamp it right the way over like that and then that one can be let's just clean that one off let's give that a little bit of a clean up and then we're going to take so that's that one then we're going to take another one running down let's take it um we'll leave a little bit i want it sort of at a bit of an angle so i'm going to have this coming off on that angle and i'm going to do the coastal cabana next because that as i say will Come in quite nicely so we'll have the coastal cabana and just blend that down and 
then I'm going to use the larger one again just make sure it's pressed on properly and just do that in on the edges like that so that's that one um, then we're going to take this one, I think it's going to come across both of those. So as I say, you're getting a slight sort of overlap, but I think that that works quite nicely. Just clean that one off and we're going to go back through to the, let's go to the So Saffron. Just blend that one in. Say so you don't need to blend it overly, but that's just going to come in over the top of those ones like that. And then we'll take the yellow. This time we'll do a little one, I think. So let's, they're not sticking very well. That I've used these ones again and again, so you need to get them press them down and I'm just going to get these flowers not going over the top of the other ones so that you've got that sort of just blending piece that's open so take that one off it's got that one there and then I'm going to have another one at this sort of angle with not quite as much of a space in between and we want that one in the let's clean that up that one in the pear pizzazz so let's just take that one on there and blending brush so I'm just cleaning the last colour off and taking this one and doing whoa just nearly lost my space on there make sure I've got that where I want it so I can just hold it down a little bit because I want some of the edge to still be a little bit um, some white space in there and then we're going to have let's have the larger flower this time I'm just putting these in so that they come like that and we can take that one off that's good now do I put another one yes I'm going to have a little tiny one in on there and I'm going to do that in Do I need it in? I'm going to do it in the yellow. Um, so the So Saffron. So we've only got one blue one, but that's fine. We don't need, you can do whatever colours you want. So I'm just taking this one just down in and that's going to come off the edge then on this one. So that's on there and then we'll have the the larger one again I think yes I do like that larger one. Oh, I didn't clean that one off so one two three that'll do like that coming in the corner okay so now you've got this lovely sort of pattern going on and as I say if you wanted to do it in a different shape you could do but now we need to look at, I've only used one of the pool party. So now what I want to do is, I want each one of these to be a thank you. So let's have a look and see if I've got this little, there we go, thank you. So I'm going to take that off and put it on this one here. So I'm just sort of mounting it. doesn't have to be straight because we're going to put it in at an angle. 
and I'm then going to put the thank you in over the top just at that angle so you just have it sort of faintly showing through and I think I'm going to do it because I think it'll work quite well I like that font on there we're going to do it with the others as well and we're going to do it at different angles so let's take this one and we'll take this one and put it down at this angle we'll take this one and put it down at just want them to be different sort of angles so put that one down that way and then this one at the bottom can go down in that angle and then we've just got the pair of pizzazz so we'll take that one And we'll have that one straight like that. And we'll have this one in at that angle like that. OK, so it's quite faint, but it works. It works quite well because it's just coming in on those pieces. Then if you wanted to step it up, you can cut out some of these. I don't think I've got any already cut out, but you can cut out some of these little flowers so we could take a piece of, um, let's just take a little scrap like this, so that you could have um, probably just one or two. So you would take this in, let's do it in the, so saffron. So you can ink that up. Put that one in here, that's the piece that I cut the mask out of. And then very quickly and easily just cut that out. I do love these little flowers. They work perfectly. And as I say, they're not a difficult shape to cut out either. You know, you can just sort of... quite easily just turn your paper around I'm not doing it overly fussy you can put a bit of a wink of Stella or something in there if you want I think I just want it as it is I don't think I want it to have too much on it we'll see once we've cut it out but it's one of those things that you can't always sort of judge until you've actually got to the end part but I think it will look quite pretty take that up like that and then yes yeah, so I'll probably put that sort of in between on the center like that and then we just need a background piece and I think I've got some don't even know whether that's no that's not going to be I haven't got a have I got a piece of No, I haven't cut myself a piece of um, the green. I would cut myself a piece of green, I think, as the background. Or I've got, um, what have I got? That's quite a nice one that would work. Um, but I am going to cut one that's soft sea foam. But just take that out like that and put it on. And then I'll probably put another sort of thank you sentiment just to go over the top. But it makes a really sort of pretty pattern. Um, as I say, I will carry on and finish this off now. I'm not going to uh, do it all on screen because you get the idea. But then just build up a little something. Put the other thank you in on there. Um, and just sort of, you know, fussy cut that out. But I think it makes... It makes a pretty sort of spring looking card and all we've used is 
a mask with a punch so as I say you could use any shape you want and just a couple of these little flowers to just give that sort of masking background so thank you so much for watching me as always please stay safe and well and please be kind bye bye